Welcome back, old friend. I'm not talking about Thursday night football. We just saw Thursday night football. Correct me if I'm wrong, but the winner has scored 12 points in two straight Thursday night football games. So we're not welcoming back Thursday night football by any means. No, we're welcoming back a man here who's going to make a difference. You ever go through a stretch without seeing your buddy from college, from the block, from work? from high school, from a swim club when you were eight, whatever it is, but an old friend. And you know, whenever you see that old friend, you just pick right up like nothing changed. Oh, and it's just whoever you're with, your new friends, your new significant other, your new husband, wife, what have you, your new crew. Oh, you all, it's like you all never even stopped being friends. It's like you never even took time off. Welcome back. Welcome back, DeAndre Hopkins, because we've got ourselves an interesting scenario brewing. Now, as I give you all the data and all the information, and all the stuff that's going to happen in our five bets in five minutes, we'll roll the clock, you know, the drill. If you're not, hey, if you're new, hit the thumbs up button, subscribe, be part of the fastest growing sports betting community on YouTube. And I always give you a little taste here as I'm talking, as I'm flapping away, we'll give you a taste. This is not part of the actual five itself. But this is just so you can have something here because we do lean Cardinals really heavy here. Minus two and a half, anything under three. And we'll get into that coming up in a second. But DeAndre Hopkins is the real deal. And that's what we want to target right away. All right. So let's reset. Take a second. Reminder here. It's Thursday night, Monday night for the weekend slate. And now we're doing this across the board. For the NBA, Monday through Friday in the NBA. All right. So we have it ready. We have it ready to go. Take a second, reset. We get the clock here going. And as we do, five and five starts right now. Bang, let's go. First, right away is the Arizona Cardinals will score in the first half over 10 and a half points. I'm going to get 11. I'm going to get 13. I'm going to get over 10 and a half points. The Saints are not good on Thursday night football. They also are dealing with DeAndre Hopkins is back, and I absolutely love that. So what we do right away is target an offense that has been shot, not shot out of a cannon, but flat, absolutely dead. They don't average anything. They scored three points in the opening drive of their last game and were cooked following that. So Kyler Murray, Cliff Kingsbury, there is pressure right now. Head coach's job is on the line. You don't think he's going to pepper the hell out of DeAndre Hopkins against the Saints team that's 0-6-2 against the spread in their last eight Thursday night non-division games. Sorry, but we got to go over 10.5. The Cardinals come out firing right away. All right, well, what does that mean? Let's go to DeAndre Hopkins because he is going to be peppered absolutely peppered. And when we looked at this earlier in the day, you had plus money for six receptions. We're going to do the same exact thing here over five and a half receptions for DeAndre. Even if Kyler Murray is moving away from DeAndre Hopkins for whatever reason, there is going to be a point, which I don't think will happen. There is going to be a point in which Cliff Kingsbury and the Arizona Cardinals are going to be like, Hey man, you got to throw it to this dude. And we know the season is technically still alive, and you have this shot in the arm, this boost back in DeAndre Hopkins, and that's going to be a key element here for this offense. So absolutely, we want to target first and foremost the offense scoring points, and as a result, it comes with DeAndre Hopkins. Six receptions is what we need for that thing to happen. All right, let's look at interceptions thrown for Andy Dalton. We're going to go one. Why? Dalton, banged up on a short week, is going up against Vance Joseph's Arizona defense. In three, we've seen contest 0-3 straight up against the spread. Dalton, in those games, has a TD-to-pick ratio against Van Joseph's defenses, 5-6, to six, respectively. He's going to throw a pick. He's banged up his back last week. He's going to struggle. This Saints offense is not fantastic. You look at the head coach, Dennis Allen, he's 3-17 and 17 straight up, 11-8-1 and one against the spread on the road. That goes back to Oakland 
three and 17 straight up on the road. And it's a short week and there are injuries. And it's just a crazy year that he's had to deal with on offense. Come on. You know what to do here. We go over that interception without a doubt. All right, let's go down another one here. And this is low. This continues to be low. Just because DeAndre Hopkins is back doesn't mean that Kyler Murray is going to stop moving the football with his feet. And we do believe because Arizona is still struggling and because Arizona hasn't fixed anything and just because DeAndre Hopkins is back, it doesn't turn this offense into a crew of world beaters that they're going to have to move the football at some point. And it isn't just going to be 15 receptions for DeAndre Hopkins. The easiest way for the Arizona Cardinals to move the chains all night is going to be Kyler Murray on the ground. I don't care what stats. I don't care what metrics. I don't care what you give me as far as this New Orleans defense. Until this number hits 40 plus, we need to go over it. At 33 and a half, again, not 26 and a half, which we've smashed. But until then, we got to go over it. So, yes, Kyler Murray will go over 33 and a half, and it's still under what it technically should be. Let's go to our favorite one here. And that's going to be kicking props. Now, again, with Will Lutz, we're just going to target field goals made over one and a half. He had this resurgence last game after being neglected. He had this resurgence last game. Will Lutz, pretty good kicker. The other guy, the Amendola, whatever the hell slop the Arizona Cardinals are going to roll out. I don't want to touch. I don't want to tempt fate and even get near hover around any of that shit. The guy we want to target Andy Dalton, the offense is just going to struggle. Kamara can't do it all. So Andy Dalton, the drives will stall. Told you about Allen. Terrible on Monday night. 0-2 in Thursday night games. Pardon me, Thursday with Oakland. 0-2. This is straight up in Monday night games. Not going to win. This is such a gift wrap for the offense to stall and to falter, especially on the road with a banged-up quarterback. We got to go over one and a half, two field goals from Will Lutz. All right, five bets, five minutes. See, it's painless. I don't know what you heard about this segment, but it's painless. Absolutely. We're doing it for the NBA, too. Make sure you check that out. Each and every day, by the way, for that one. We don't even wait for, like, primetime stuff. All right, let's tell you about what's happening below. You can see it. You can read it below. Right above DeAndre Hopkins, you can see him. It's so simple here. So many of you just for whatever reason, and, and I'm done chastising. You know, it's fun. It's a fun bit at first to just make fun of you for not. But I don't know if that resonates. I don't know if you respond to that. There are plenty of people now that don't respond to that type of electricity, to that type of a catalyst, if you will, a prod. So let's look at it this way. For some reason, your reasons, your reasons alone, you've chosen to bet on sports, but you've only chosen to join one book. I don't know why. You can make that choice broader here by just signing up below at BetMGM. And here's the thing. You don't have to sign. You don't even need to deposit more than $10. So if all you want to do is just have this account open and have money in this account to jump on every now and again, hmm, you know, Ben Ross, a sharp player of the day. Look at the flyer, whatever it may be. Then you have money already available to you. You don't have to go through the sign-up process. You can have the app downloaded on your phone and just be ready to go. So all you need to do is just click that link below. It's a simple process that makes $10 into $200 by betting a $10 play on any NHL money line. All you need, either team to score a goal. That's it. Just either team. And I'm looking over here at the NHL. It's just so easy. So easy. Anything you want, there's going to be a goal scored. That's easy money. All right. Now let's run it back here for you. Five bets in five minutes, just so you get it. You wanted to run in here for the recap. Over 10 and a half points for the Arizona Cardinals. First half, mind you. I think Arizona gets something going here. It's a short week. I get it. DeAndre Hopkins back. Six receptions. We'll take it. Over a half interception with Andy Dalton. That's only minus 105, mind you. Again, five to six TD to interception ratio in the contest. Limited, but still pretty convincing contest against Vance Joseph's Arizona squad. 
over 33 and a half rushing yards for Kyler Murray, over one and a half field goals made for Will Lutz. All right, there you have it. All five bets in play, all at BetMGM. You have the thing below. Make sure you head on over to the Discord. It's easy. Stochastic.com slash Shander. We're giving out a lot of plays. You're getting this stuff early before the line moves. And most importantly, it's the only place where you're getting some pretty big ones. Parlays, teasers, what have you. I'm the only one crazy enough to do that. Smart enough or just flat out dumb enough to do it. Take your pick. But if you've been watching the parlay videos, we hit these. Not all the time every day, but we do. So we give them out all the time in the Discord. Let's cash them.